to two and zero here today. Um, you know, we uh, we did some good things. I thought that um, I thought Joe was really locked in uh, the whole game. Obviously, had a had a great performance. I thought Nana really played with a lot of motor. Uh, I love the fact we only had five turnovers, um, which was good. Fourteen assists to five turns. Um, I thought um, you know certainly there were times where we played really unselfish. Uh, I thought we shot the ball well in the two-point area and converted those uh, and did a good job of driving the ball and getting out in transition and did some good things that we can certainly build on. Um, you know, defensively, I, I thought their ability to get on the glass is a little bit concerning. And, and uh, the fact that uh, they, they beat us to so many loose balls, you know, we'll take a look at that. We've got to clean that up a little bit. Um, you know, they got in the paint quite a bit, so we've got to somehow find a way to contain the basketball a little bit better. And those are all things we'll be looking at on film uh, as we head into Wednesday's game. we got another opportunity here the next two or three days to continue to get better. And we need to shore up some of those areas. And, you know, we look forward to competing on Wednesday night. Questions for the players? Joe, you're 100% healthy now, it looks like. Oh, yeah. Um, really have been working on the offseason. Uh, I think I'm back. Joe, you be, be aggressive. Uh, just uh, how have you taken that? I mean, you know, in years past, it seemed like you deferred a little bit. Now you're being aggressive. Uh, yeah, um, I think he's really pushed me to uh, get in the lane. That's one of the things I do best is uh, straight line drives, and that's just focus on that and without playing with the ball a lot. Um, uh, rebounding as well, they've really been on me, and I think I've, um, we've done a really good job of crashing the glass. That's one thing that um, we've definitely been working on in practice. How's that been different for you without DJ, Brandon, the, those guys, and you got to be more of a primary scorer? Um, I don't think it's uh, been too much uh, difference. Uh, we got uh, some new guys; they can they can score as well. Um, this is a, it's a whole new team, and I think we're gelling uh, together pretty good so far. Do you feel differently though, in some ways, just being in that role? Maybe it doesn't seem different without those guys per se, but just not you. really. I mean, it's the same system; we're doing the same things, and um, I think it's I think it's going to work for us. Nana, what was the issue, I guess, on the on keeping them from getting offensive rebounds tonight? Um, I mean, we just got to do a better job hitting, hitting them and, and getting them away, away from the paint. Uh, we're going to work on that, and we'll be better on Wednesday. And I know one of the things that Coach always says is he wants you to play hard and play good defense without fouling. You didn't get your first foul until late in the game today. You still managed to get five block shots. Is there something you're doing differently? Is it that the, on the defensive end? I mean, just being smarter, understanding that early in the game, uh, you know, just being, being smart in, in, in terms of, you know, taking chances. But, um, you know, I mean, just, you just, you just find a medium to stay aggressive, at, but, but also knowing that, you know, you got to stay in the game. Yeah, it seemed like kind of a quick trigger on that three-second call, but it is your second one in as many games. Uh, I mean, yeah, I got to be smart about that, and I can't believe, yeah, second one. But, um, I got, uh, you know, I'm used, I'm used to, you know, having the refs tell me, you'll warn me a couple of times, but, uh, but no, I mean, I just got to keep that clock in my head. Then if you walked into the gym and didn't know what year people were, you wouldn't know that Jalen was a freshman, probably. Yeah. Could you just talk a little bit about what you see from him? Uh, he's off to a good start. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I, I I knew that from when I first saw him in the summer. I saw him play. I knew how smart he was, and his IQ is real high, and, and the way he shares the ball. So I mean, you, know, you got the one thing about him. He, he has a great attitude. He always wants to learn. He wants to get better. He always wants to help everyone get better. So that, that's 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 why he's so good, and that's why he's so special. Joe, you guys that could fly through the air and catch alley oops from a guy like Jalen Tate, just get you more involved, more excited to run the court. Oh, yeah, he loves throwing lobs, and uh, he really pushes the ball, and that uh, really helps our team. Uh, we can get up the floor fast, and um, with uh, me, Ray, and um, Iki uh, get up there and catch lobs. I mean, he, he loves throwing them. We got a couple in practice, and um, I feel like there's going to be more coming. <laughs> Kind of what happened on the fast break when you kind of looked like you blew a tire there? Yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, it just, it just, it just lost foot a little bit. But uh, hopefully you get an opportunity to get that next game in. I'll, I'll do a lot better for you. I'll finish okay, that. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, absolutely. Anything else for the players? Okay, we'll let them go. Good job, guys. Good job. Any questions for Joe? John, uh, with, with Jalen, uh, I have him as 43 minutes in the two games, one turnover. His, could you just talk about his poise and, and uh, his ability to take care of the basketball? Yeah, obviously that's important, you know, not only at that position, Mark, but I think it's really important for this year's team. We've identified that area to play with five tun turnovers, as I alluded to earlier, is great. You know, him having one, um, Abrams having one, 
Yeah, the Tulip had zero. So two total turnovers from your you know guys that that play that position for us uh, throughout the course of the game is is excellent, and uh, we've got to, we we got to have that from those guys, and they did a good job of executing that part of their role here this afternoon. A different sense of urgency maybe with Joe this year as opposed to you know, last year a little bit. Yeah, sure. You know, there's there's no there's no question about that. You know, it's the uh, and I think part of it's being a fifth year senior, Marcus. You know, I always say, you know, freshmen want to play, sophomores want to start, juniors want to score, and seniors want to win. You know, certainly not, you know, probably a little bit too much of a stereotype there, but I don't know how too far off that is. You know, and I think right now he just, you know, every day, every, we talk about it all the time. I mean, every day he realizes, you know, you can't get that day back. There's only so many days left he has in that Illini jersey, and it means something to him. So, you know, I, I thought he was t terrific. You know, I basically told him, I'm not taking you out until you tell me you're tired because I thought he was the one guy that was really locked in, and he finally, you know, we took him out there in the second half. But I thought he really, you could tell he was really dialed in the whole time and was really competitive on the glass, competitive defensively. I thought he made a lot of plays uh, for us. What do you make of the, the loose balls thing that's different from the all the offensive rebounds they got? Well, I thought it was unacceptable. I mean, I don't like giving up that many offensive rebounds. Um, I think part of it is we got in rotation because the ball got in the paint too much. Um, and then loose balls, got to gotta go get them. You know, you got you to gotta get on them. You're not going to get all of them. Sometimes they don't bounce your way, but I thought we didn't get a high enough percentage of them. Um, the guys know that. I mean, we've got to scrap and claw and dig out more rebounds. We've got to dig out more of those loose balls, those 50-50 plays, uh, than, we did, than we did here this afternoon. Is it kind of everybody? You know, I don't think so, Shannon, because on Friday night I thought that we, we, we did. We won the rebounding battle both defensively and offensively as well as the loose ball battle. And uh, tonight I thought they were really quick to the ball. I thought they played really hard. Um, they made some athletic plays, and they beat us to some of those loose balls. And I, I thought we were a step slow at times defensively. Um, we'll have to take a look at, at, at why here and you know figure it out before we play again on Wednesday. Joe, back to Joe. Um, he's kind of a support. He's been a supporting player here in his last couple of years. Do you have to sit down and try and change him to kind of more of a? Leader? No, I think he's right. I mean, he, he's. We're asking him to do the same things. He's just doing them better. He understands our defense better, Jeremy. Um, you know, for us, I mean, I thought he was really good last year. Um, he was important, obviously important part of our team, and it's no different this year. Um, I do think he's gotten better. That's probably the biggest difference. He's stronger. His strength and conditioning numbers are indicative of that. Um, you know, he did an unbelievable job rehabilitating his injury. You know, he worked every day rehab to come back and to come back earlier, and he did a great job with that. Um, you know, I think he understands the system better. Uh, he's gotten better through skill instruction. He's just improved. You know, really all those guys have uh, in a lot of different areas. It took Tracy a while to get going, um, shooting-wise at least. What, what do you attribute that to? You know, I don't know. I, I, I didn't think that he was super aggressive. Um, and he's got to obviously balance. It's very important that he balances scoring Shannon with making others better. And Tracy knows that. And, you know, he's made a lot of progress with that. Uh, tonight I'd like to have seen him maybe make us a little bit better. Uh, with the pass, but he scored some awful big baskets for us, you know, during that stretch there where we were kind of able to open up the game. Uh, a lot of right-hand floaters and runners where he was driving the ball and getting in gaps and made some big plays for us. Although Malcolm maybe didn't shoot the ball well, do you like that he's being aggressive and starting to be, feel, look a little more comfortable out there looking for a shot? Oh, sure. You know, Malcolm has a gift uh, to score, you know, and he has, really can do it at all three levels of the court. You know, tonight his shot didn't go his way. Um, you know, he's a much better shooter than what, you know, how he shot here even over the weekend. And I've got a lot of confidence in both him, you know, and John for that matter. I mean, those guys have, you know, statistically from a percentage perspective, you know, been as good as shooters as we've had in, in practice in addition to the Latula. So I feel very comfortable with those guys shooting the ball. And when you shoot as many shots as Malcolm did this past summer, 30,000 in eight weeks, He's earned the right. I mean, I got no problem. He can he can shoot it, you know. Uh, John's the same way. I think he finished second or third on our team in shots made this summer, and that's what he does. So I've got a lot of confidence in those guys. The main thing is I do not want them to be passive, and I want them to continue to shoot the ball. In keeping with the E1H philosophy, what should we expect out of, out of um, 
Colbert and uh, Kendrick down this year? Well, I thought Austin um, was better tonight than he was on Friday. Certainly not that he was bad on Friday. I thought it was a good learning experience for him. I thought tonight he looked a little bit more comfortable out there. Um, you know, I thought Kendrick had on Friday's minutes where he played really well and then, you know, struggled a little bit defensively. I thought it was a little bit better defensively tonight. You know, we're going we're gonna to do this thing by committee. I mean, I know you've heard me say it. I think hopefully now you're starting to see it. Like when I play 11 players in 10 minutes, I mean, I've been saying it. <laughs> You know, I'm not just saying it. I'm, we're doing it. I mean, we need, we need – uh, this t team needs to be a team that gets it done by committee. And night in and night out, all 11 guys that are capable of getting in the game or eligible to get in the game got to be ready to go. And they got to be an NBA all-star in their role, period. And as soon as one of them's not, you know, with this team, it's not going to be – it's not good enough. I mean, we got to have everybody ready to go. Um, so I expect Kendrick and, and Austin to perform their role no different than I do the other nine guys. John, when you schedule these games, you wanted more home games and kind of get these kids' feet wet. Are you getting what you wanted out of these games so far? You know, I, I think we're getting better. I'll watch the film, Jeremy. Um, you know, tonight we did some good things. We have some areas of concern that I mentioned earlier, whether it's the rebounding, whether it's the loose balls. Um, you know, we've got to clean some of those things up. We've got to keep the ball. You know, I thought they dribbled, just kept dribble driving us all night. thought the ball got in the paint too easily. So we've got to do a better job there. Um, you know, obviously I have mentioned, and there's no question about it, you know, we wanted to be, you know, a program that continues to play, you know, the, uh, the number of games at home. I think that's really important. You know, I, I told you when I got the job here, I looked, and over the last 10 years and five years, Illinois have played less non-conference home games than any, any school in the league. So we have a great environment, we got great fans, and, um, you know, we're just going to continue to build it. And we got great plans for the renovation here to the building. And that's going to be pretty special as well. And, you know, so we want to we want to play in, uh, in in our building certainly a fair number of times. Two games in three days with a young team. What did you learn about them? Um, you know, again, I'll watch the film. I thought some guys were ready to go more than others. Um, you know, obviously I mentioned Bertrand and Egwu. I thought those guys were ready. I mean, they were ready to go. They're ready to go every day, though. You know, that's that whole deal of, you know, I was telling them in pressure situations, your habits take over. You know, you can't flip on effort and attitude like a light switch and say, I'll have it tonight, but then not have it in practice and then try to flip it on again. And, you know, Egwu and Bertrand have that figured out. Um, you know, and, and some other guys who need to be more consistent with that, and they know that. Uh, we're demanding more out of them every day, trying to push them really hard. Um, you know, our, our hope is that they feel like practices are significantly harder than the games. You know, I think that they are, uh, which hopefully prepares us for what's ahead. John, it seems like some of the fans thought Jalen was kind of an add-on to the recruiting class. They weren't necessarily expecting a lot from him. Has he been a surprise to the coaching staff? Were you expecting this all along? Well, I would say this, you know, obviously we felt very comfortable with the five guys that we signed, Rob, and had high expectations for all of them. We thought they all could contribute uh, here during their time in Illinois or we wouldn't have recruited them, you know. So he's uh, – I think the one thing about him that you don't realize until you actually coach him is – you know, every day he, he focuses on getting better. He's, he's a pro's pro, which is very rare for someone his age, meaning like film, you know, um, you know how he practices, his mindset, his mentality, you know, is, is, um, is really, really solid. And I think what, what that does is that allows him to improve at a very rapid rate. And, you know, he's getting better every day uh, because of that. His skills were known as a passer, and that's certainly – Obvious way past yeah, he made some good decisions tonight, and you know we're going to need him to continue to make several good decisions <laughs> Mo moving mo moving forward. Thanks, guys.